Hey, welcome back. This is Manny with Chopper Google It's and on today's episode, we're talking about Metal Flake. I know everybody always wants to know how to do it and how to mix it. So today we're going to talk about how to properly mix it, how much to put in your inner coat carrier and shooting over our Comet Silver with our Tropical Glitz Flake Gun. So this episode is going to be jam packed with a lot of information, techniques. So guys, stay tuned. All right, we're going to be prepping this surfboard with Indosa Redline Sandpaper. This is a six inch hook and loop DA and we're gonna be using an interface pad to sand this surfboard. This is a retired surfboard, it has its wear and tear, and we wanna make sure we have it sanded really good. We have some fiberglass that's showing through. So we're right now using Indasa sponges. These things are amazing. They're great for all the edges and the ridges, and it catches any uneven spots that you can't catch with the DA. So we're prepping two panels. This is going to be a other panel that we're sanding with the Indasa Sandpaper 400 grit. We're going to be doing our Platinum Plus over a Comet Silver base and on this panel our Black Abyss. So now we're missing, mixing up Southern Polyurethane 2K Cedar. It's a 4 to 1, 4 to 1 to 1 mix, but we're going to mix it as a 4 to 1 and use it as a 2K primer for our surfboard panel. Guys, if you're not following us on social media, we have Tropical Glitz on Instagram, TikTok, and do us a favor, if you like the content, like, subscribe, and share. We're gonna be using our Awala LPH 300. This is a design primer sealer gun, and we're shooting our 2K primer on the surfboard. We're using a 1.8 tip for this project. And this is Southern Polyurethane 2K white sealer, and we're gonna get that all ready. Now we're going to be mixing up Abyss Black. This is a one-to-one -one mix. And we're going to shoot this over our panel. So we're shooting our Abyss Black with a Awada LPH 400 1.4 tip over a 400 grit sanded uh, surface. And this is what we're going to use as a foundation for our Platinum Plus. Now here is our surfboard project and we're sanding this right now with 400 grit and we're dusting it all off. Getting it ready for our Comet Silver. Now this Comet Silver is a very high metallic base. It's a one to one mix with our reducer. Now we're going to spray this panel down with a pre-cleaner and wipe it down in one direction. Make sure we have all the impurities and dust off this so we have a really nice foundation. We're using our LPH 400 1.4 tip and we're spraying down our first coat of Comet Silver over the white 2K primer. Very important, keep your passes at a 50% overlap. You don't want to have any zebra striping or melting on the metallics. Now we're going over our edges again. This is our second coat after we properly gave it its flash time. Our flash time right now, we're shooting outside. We're in Miami, Florida, so we're giving it a five to 10 minute flash time. And this is wet base coat, and this has three coats of common silver. Now we're gonna get ready. We're gonna be mixing our inner coat clear, and this is our carrier for our metal flake. We're using the same cup that we had our Comet Silver because since we're going to load it up with a metal flake, it really doesn't matter uh, that the cup has already silver in it for this particular project. And the same thing, our inner coat is a one to one mix. So now we have Platinum Plus Ultra Fine. This is a 004 uh, Ultra Thin Metal Flake and we're going to be mixing that in with our inner coat. Now we're gonna do a couple different sizes in this mix. You're gonna notice we're gonna grab another jar now, and that is our course. And that is a 015 chrome metal flake. Now the biggest thing guys, don't be scared. This is our Platinum Plus 008, and I'm sure people are like, wow, that's a lot of metal flake. It's actually not. If you really wanna achieve a good metal flake paint job, you have to know how much metal flick to put in. Now we're gonna be mixing this in and this is a great rule of thumb. 
When I take out the mixing stick, I want you to notice, depending how much metal flake is on the mixing stick, it's how it's gonna look when you spray it out. You see that mixing stick? That's how much it's gonna look when I spray it out out of, my, uh, out of our Tropical Blitz flake gun. So this is gonna be the mix that we're gonna use right now over our Comet Silver. We're not gonna go with full coverage because we already have our Comet Silver as a foundation for the Platinum Plus flakes. Now here, I'm grabbing our 2.5 flake gun. Same process like before, I'm gonna shoot this like I'm shooting base coat with a 50-50% overlap, six inch fan, six inch distance. Treat this like you're shooting a base coat. And that's one pass of our Platinum Plus right over that board. And that's the exact results you should be getting with your metal flake paint jobs. If you're using our product with our tools and our mix ratios, this is exactly what you should be getting. Now we're gonna come back and do another coat because you know what, you can never have enough flakes. And I love metal flakes, so here we're just gonna go over everything, give it a little drop coat. And that's without clear, that is just straight inner coat with our Platinum Plus uh, flake. Now we're gonna be doing another mix. Now this is the leftover from the previous mix and now we're gonna be doing this over our Abyss Black. And now we're gonna show you what a full coverage metal flake paint job should look like. You see that? And that's still not good enough for me. We're gonna dump more flakes till we get so much metal flake in the mix. When we pull out the mixing stick, you won't see any wood. It's all flake. We still need a little bit more. All right, you see that guys, this is pretty heavy. Now watch when I pull out the stick. You see that? That is full coverage. Let me show you real quick again. I don't want you to miss it. That's full coverage and that's exactly what you want and that's what you're looking for when you're using a black base as a foundation. Look at that. Look at that full coverage stripe right there and we're gonna continue and on this panel, we're going to go over the same thing. Six inch fan, six inch distance. And we're going to cross hatch here just to kind of get everything evened out. And that's exactly, that is our 2.5 tropical woods flake gun. And this thing is a beast. And that is over black. That's exactly the outcome you're going to get mixing our platinum plus with full coverage with our tropical blitz flake gun. What a work of art. That is beautiful. Wait till we, we show you the finished product once it's cleared. Guys, what a process. You saw all the steps we took from sanding to primering to mixing our Comet Silver, mixing our Abyss Black, applying everything. And then on top of that, mixing our inner coat and shooting our Metal Flake. And we showed you two different processes. We showed you a 50% coverage of Metal Flake over our Comet Silver, and we showed you 100% coverage over Abyss Black with our 2.5 Tropical Glitz gun. Guys, everything we have on this video, you can see it on our website and purchase it at tropicalglitz.net.